This is a short video explaining how to use the Parent Master plugin, which is a free plugin in Maya, which makes it easy to attach and unattach objects in Maya. So first of all, I'm going to go to the Animation Apprentice blog and I'm going to type in the keyword Parent Master. And that is going to pull up an old blog post, actually, on how to use it. You can see it's um, dated 2014, but the plugin still works really, really well. And I'm just going to show you how to um, uh, install it in your uh, 2019 copy of Maya. So what you want to do, the first thing you want to do is go and find the uh, plugin there. So we just go um, to follow the link, and that will take us to the official place to download it and all you have to do is download it there from hiend3d.com when you click on download hiend3d will require that you sign in so you're going to need a, a username and password you're going to need to register for the site so what's going to happen then is to your it's going to come to your downloads folder here you can see it's my x drive in downloads and if i double click on that that will open me up open it up and we'll get a series of um files. The test scene is where you can test out the parent master and the ZV parent master folder is the source files that we need to install. So back to the blog post let's just scroll down there and do take the next step. So we've downloaded the um, files and then we need to place these files in the, um, the ZV parent master.py in your scripts folder in Maya. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to navigate to my scripts folder in Maya. So I'm going to go Maya documents and then scroll down till I found my Maya folder. And then I'm going to open up scripts. And I may actually already have these. Um, yeah, I've actually already got them in there. But you can go ahead and copy those in there, ZV Parent Master PY. And actually, it looks like the newer version of this software has actually um, got a slightly different name. So I'm just going to copy, I'm just going to drag that over into there. So I've got ui.py and I'm going to drag that over there as well. Then the next thing we have to do is copy the whole ZV folder into the Maya scripts folder as well. So let's go back to downloads and I'm just going to go up and then I'm going to take that whole folder and copy it and paste it in my Uh, in my uh, scripts folder. So go ahead and paste and there it goes. So now it's popping in the scripts folder. So you're basically just copying everything over to your scripts folder and sometimes as on a belt and braces approach you need to um, copy it into your 2019 scripts folder as well. So let's do that as well just to make sure that we've done that and we're completely covered. So just copy it into both scripts folders. Now back to the blog post and we need to um, open up Maya, go to the script editor, go to the Python tab and copy and paste these two, row, these two rows. So let's go copy and there's our um, scripts folder. So we want to be in the Python tab there we go. So I'm going to go edit. Yeah. Isn't that working? So I'm going to go Control V in the Python tab. Control V. There we go. And that pastes it down there. And then I can turn this into a shelf. I'm in my animation tab. You can see I've already got two little um, plugins up there. And I'm just going to middle mouse drag that up to there you see that little plus sign appear and that will now appear as a Python tab. So if I close that out and then click on Python, oh, unexpected indent, okay. So let's go back to the um, blog and make sure we've actually copied that in properly. So I'm just going to copy this chunk of code again. Go to copy and then let's go back into the script editor and let's go control V and let's just make sure we take out the spaces because it may be the spaces that were making that not work 
and then let's drag select that and move that over into the tab into the shelf tab and release and now let's try it again so I'm going to try this one here great okay and that one is now working so that now pulls up the menu bar of the um, parent master so that is now working I can now go into the shelf tab and I'm going to name that PM for parent master save all shelves I'm going to delete these two because I don't need them so let's go to that one and delete it that one delete it save all shelves and now I've just got the parent master plugin there and every time anytime I want to activate the parent master I just click on that button there and that is how to install the parent master plugin in Maya 2019